what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today because we are doing another story time with Malt. I'm sitting on a stool right now. I don't know. I wanted to... I don't know. I just wanted to sit on a stool. <laughs> so I'm sitting on a stool in my office, guys. Um, <clears throat> and today I'm going to tell y'all a story from my days in high school on the lake. So uh, I've had a lake house as long as I can remember, or my parents have had a lake house as long as I can remember. Our family had one. Um, and so we would always go there during the summer. So I went to high school in Texas, in Austin, Texas, uh, at Hill Country Christian School of Austin. That was where I went to high school. And uh, we always had a house out in Chapin, South Carolina, Lake Murray, beautiful lake, huge man-made lake, so, so awesome. And uh, for the longest time, we had a boat and we also had a couple of jet skis. So first point, I want to know if you guys have ever been on a jet ski. Some of y'all probably haven't. Some of y'all probably have. I've never been on one in the ocean, which I think would be epic. I think that would be so cool. But I'd also be a little scared because I'm afraid of sharks. I'm legit afraid of sharks. They terrify me. Sharks are so scary to me. Um, but, so I've never been on a jet ski in the ocean. But I uh, we owned some at our lake house. So we had two of them. And I've got two jet ski stories to tell you guys that are pretty ridiculous. I think y'all are enjoy them. Um, so the first one. One thing that is fun about jet skis is like when you turn a lot and stuff on them, uh, it sprays water, which is cool. It can be kind of dangerous, so you have to be careful uh, turning like that. Because if you fall off on one of those going fast, whew, you could drown super easily, even if you're wearing a life jacket because it can knock you out. So you have to be really careful. So what I was doing was stupid, so definitely don't do it. Um, but my friend and I, Luke, uh, he lived out in Chapin as well. We would always go out on our jet skis and we would... Uh, we get kind of close to each other, but not too close. Like we kind of, we knew each other really well. We were best friends. And so we weren't like stupid. Um, but we were out on our jet skis and we would like kind of pull in, like we'd be beside each other. I'd come in and I'd turn real sharp and spray him. Uh, he'd get in front of me, spray me. It was fun, but it was definitely dangerous. And, um, so we were doing that for a while. And then we see this, this boat that looked like it was DNR, which I think is Department of Natural... Uh, resources or something like that on the lake. I don't know what it stands for. Um, and uh, so they're on the lake. They're kind of like the lake police. So you got to be careful. And this was Memorial Day. Memorial Day on lakes are always crazy. It's all people are always out being stupid, drinking on the water, which is so dumb. All this kind of stuff. Uh, so the, so the lake police, the DNR, are always out there. So we were out messing around on our jet skis, and uh, we see the DNR, and so we're like, all right. We should just go. So we left and went back in this cove. We parked our jet skis and we were just swimming uh, and stuff. And then he pulls up and he's like, you boys know what I'm here for? And it's like, uh, no, like legitimately no. I don't know why you're here. Uh, and the officer was like, yeah, you do. And it's like, I'm, nope. You can tell me or you can keep asking. Either way, I don't know what you're talking about. And so eventually he told me and he was like, you, who, who's red, who's red jet ski is this? I had the red one, uh, Luke's was blue and green, I think. Uh, and he was like, I saw you out there messing around, spraying your friend. You know, you, you know, you're not supposed to do that. That's, that's dangerous. And I was like, is there like a law against that? Like legitimately, like it says you can't do that. And he was like, yeah, you can't do that. And he looked at my friend Luke and he was like, you were probably doing it too. I didn't see you doing it, but I saw your friend doing it. And I got a $180 ticket, guys. Like what? For playing on a jet ski, come on! I didn't even think that there were like police, and so he writes me this court. He writes me this citation and all this kind of stuff. I was like, "You gotta be kidding me!" I was so annoyed. I was a high school. I didn't have one hundred and eighty dollars. You kidding me? So I go back and I tell my parents, and they just start laughing. Like I was so afraid I was gonna get in a lot of trouble, uh, just because I was being dumb and like I'm. The police got on to me or whatever, um, and they just laughed and they're like, "Well, you gotta come up with the money," but. That was when I was doing the golf ball thing. I don't know if y'all saw that story, uh, the one of the last story time with Moltz. Uh, I talked about how I used to sell golf balls during the summer. So I had to sell golf balls and freaking pay for my ticket, but it's just like crazy. So definitely let me know down below if y'all have any crazy jet ski stories or any kind of water related stories. Um, but here's another one. This one was ridiculous. So this was a little younger. Uh, I think I was like a freshman in high school at this point. Uh, the previous one, I was a junior or a senior. I think I might have been a junior. Uh, so the other one uh, involved my sister and I. So we both had one. My grandfather came up and he had a jet ski. Yeah, my granddad. My granddad had a jet ski. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, I call my grandparents granddad and grandma. 
uh, what do you guys call yours? I always think that's interesting. I think that's really cool when people are like, oh, this is my my uh, pop pop or uh, my papa or my opa is a German one. That's what I called my German grandfather before he passed away uh, was opa. So uh, my granddad had a jet ski, guys, like legit, like in his 70s, he owned a jet ski. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Uh, so he brought his up. We were out on those and uh, my sister and I were driving around and uh, she knew how to drive the jet ski, but wasn't too knowledgeable about how it worked on the water and didn't really understand that there weren't like brakes on it. Like there's reverse, which is kind of a brake, but not really. Um, and so we were out driving around and I just parked and I parked at the entrance of our cove and I was like, Hey Megan, come on in. Like, come on. And she comes flying in and thinks that if you pull the key out, it's just going to shut the thing off and make it stop. Yes, it shuts it off. It doesn't make it stop. It's like motion. <laughs> so she comes flying in and just unplugs the key and is heading right at me on her jet ski. And I'm like, Megan, what are you doing? And she's like, I can't do anything. And I was like, well, duh, you took the key out. And so she's just flying at me. I have to jump off of my jet ski, like off to the side, and it goes up onto it and then comes back down. And I get up and I'm like, what did you just do? Like, you could have killed me. I wouldn't have died because I wouldn't have stayed on the jet ski. But uh, if I had been on the jet ski, it would have been really bad. And so she's like, please don't tell the parents. Please, like, please don't tell my parents. But as a freshman, and I, it could have been as an eighth grade. It was either eighth grade or ninth grade or something. Um, I was like, oh, I can't wait to tell on her. And so I went back and told my parents. She didn't really get in trouble. They were just like, you took the key out. <laughs> kind of like, come on. Um, but that was ridiculous. Crazy jet ski stories. I probably have some more I can think about to tell you guys. But um, if you guys enjoy story time with Mo, you like these kind of vlogs, hanging out, talking, all this kind of stuff, let me know. Leave a like on the video, guys. Uh, comment down below. Again, what you call your grandparents, jet ski stories, any kind of lake activities, ocean things. I'm terrified of sharks, like I said. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. You mean the world to me. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.